Hello, my incisive friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. It's pretty amazing how many of the predictions we have gotten right this year so far. I mean, aside from the amazing, stunning uh, Ukraine ones uh, that we did last January before the war even started with just amazing uh, everything from drawings to very specific things that would happen, uh, and they did. And so far, with this year's predictions, a bunch have happened already. Um, the first one is uh, Israel attacks Iran's nuclear program within 90 days, and it definitely did. There's more about that. Uh, I predicted Russia would go to the next level with nukes and go to the highest pre-launch level. They'd also be doing mega hacking internationally. U.S. infrastructure attacked. Um, um, uh, Katarov, uh, it was an assassination attempt. One of his sons is dead already. Um, I wrote Purgosian assassination attempt. Nuclear plan hit. Yes, that bigger one was hit earlier this year. March, Putin disappears for a short period, recovering from treatment for stomach cancer. I predicted this years ago. And this is exactly what happened. There was a news story about it on the other day. Um, global warming is uh, moving faster than all the most liberal models. That's true. Three hurricanes will enter the Gulf. Ba, ba, ba. American president dies. Alec Baldwin jailed. Military UFO video released before March 22nd. There was a clip from, uh, was it Baghdad? Well, it was the military released that orb picture. And I think that would satisfy that one. Because um, I said military, pretty amazing. Uh, terrorism in South Manhattan, not sure around April, financial decision. You know, I was just thinking this could be the um, uh, Trump person who sent the weird uh, envelope with dust that made people sick. Uh, uh, major energy breakthrough. We had that fusion breakthrough this year. Someone told me this homegrown singer story is real, a survivor, compelling personal story, and the internet launched him. Uh, there was this mass shooting, but that's so vague, can't really count it. There's some uh, August stuff that hasn't happened yet. I say nuclear, uh, North Korea's nuclear test will be before July or sooner. We're going to have more big solar flares. Um, March 2nd-ish, we were incredibly accurate. Gulf Coast hit with tornadoes. Um, <clears throat> some more predictions in the future. Uh, uh, tornadoes, hurricanes, flood, floods extend their normal seasons. Uh, Mississippi River flood takes lives. I'll send you say hot air balloon thing. I put tragedy, maybe because it blew up. Videoed from two angles seen around the world. That is very specific in how I worded it. Thing videoed from two angles and it's seen around the world. How is that for a wacky one? Um, uh, oh, more evidence from COVID that it was the Wuhan lab. That did come out a couple months ago. I don't know if this Detroit fire thing came out. Uh, China's the world's exotic science leader, blah, blah, blah. We'll skip all that stuff. Um, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Some advanced science stuff. Um, 2024, high-profile war crimes begin. Uh, 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 Buffalo, New York, snowstorm kills. Wasn't that amazing? That one came true. The second one came true as well. There's actually two storms that literally stretched across the whole country. I'd never really heard of that before until this year. So that was pretty amazing. Here again, I talk about Putin putting nuclear weapons on maximum instigation mode possible, and we've seen that now around the world. We wouldn't have thought that earlier, but I I definitely uh, predicted it there. Um, Russia's warned, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Israel hits the nuke sites. Israel hits Iran nuke sites and anti-Russia supplies for USA and Ukraine. Simultaneously attacks Palestinians using cover of other events, secretly assassinates scientists and destroys supply line. How much of a just totally accurate hit was that one? Uh, uh, oh, it's a long-term China plan. Well, that's a lot of interesting hits, guys. What do you think? There's a bunch more, but I'd love to hear your thoughts.